right, youth and teens, we're going to be going over our takedown. We're doing a different pass this time, okay? So we've seen the takedown. We've seen the person on bottom recovering the guard after the takedown. We've seen doing a knee slide with the takedown. This one is going to be a back step guard pass, okay? So a back step is a way that we can get past our buddy's guard. So here. Now look what I'm going to do from here. See how I landed like this? This core has kind of already caught me. I have to initiate the back step as soon as we go down, okay, like this, okay? So this is one that you have to really focus on the timing of it. I'm not going to pause when I do the takedown now. I'm immediately going to pass. It's going to be smooth. You can rewind the video and watch it the next time we show it too. Here. And I back step. See how my arm is over here by her ear? Okay, so some of the techniques after our advanced techniques, all right? So remember advanced, hey, we have to know beginner, intermediate, and advanced techniques. But future techniques you're gonna learn, you'll learn about this elbow being right here on the far side. It can be under the head, but this is better, okay? So when I take Miss Cora down, I'm gonna put my elbow on the far side, and I'm gonna back step. Here. Okay, if I don't back step as we're going down, Miss Cora will do exactly what she did when I was pausing to teach. She was gonna retain her half guard. And then I'll have to go into some of my other passing techniques. Okay, now the junior black belts, you guys will be learning how to pass when this happens off your takedown. Okay? Okay, advanced students, youth and teens, let's take a look at this. So you need to know your knee slide pass. That's when you go here and you bump the top knee and you settle side mount. You need to know the pry bar pass where you put your pry bar in and you pry and you go to mount. This is kind of a combination of those two and we're going back to side control on this one for our advanced rings. Okay, so we're here. We're gonna put our pry bar in. We're gonna raise our hips up. Maybe we call that an ostrich pose like we're sticking our head in the sand. A tripod and we're gonna knee slide. And if your foot doesn't come out, always bump that top knee. So our pry with our foot is something we can use on our passes. It's very helpful. So here, I put my pry in, I raise up, and I knee slide. It's almost like I've got a double knee slide going on. Okay? Now I'm going to pull this one out and push her top leg away with my foot to side control. Okay, so just remember, you already know the beginner and intermediate paths. This is just combining the pry bar to go back to side control from beginner. Okay, now there's three sweeps. One's a back take. We saw the knee tap. We saw the, the hook shot back take, we call it. And this is called our dive under sweep. A lot of people also call this a rollover sweep because you roll them over. Okay, so when I come up to the half guard, okay? So if I'm just drilling without any pressure from my buddy, I can just switch my feet and come up, okay? So when I am trying for my knee tap and it's not there and I can't get out of the back, put your hand on the mat right here, Cora. I can't get to the back because I was about there and she reached back and she got her with it. Go ahead and put it back in. So I can't take the back, I can't do my knee tap. She's got a really strong base, I can't reach her foot. She might even have her knee up, okay? And this works even if her knee is up. Go ahead and put it back down. So if it, the knee is up, I do the same thing I'm about to show. So I'm trying for my techniques and they're not there. See this? I'm gonna put it underneath her leg. And I'm gonna put myself underneath her as well. Okay? Now, Miss Cora's on top of me, but she's not smashing me. And I'm just gonna roll over here. Now it's very important that I don't leave this hand in here. Miss Cora's thinking about, oh, she's gonna triangle me. And maybe worse, there's wrist locks and stuff like that. Terrible things could happen. So I need to remember on this technique to pull my arm out and start slowly getting my side mount established. Okay, so let's look at that again. We're on our elbow. We're switching our feet. We're coming up. Okay, and then I can't hit my knee tap. My back take is not gonna be there because her wizard and her overhook, same turn, 
are set in place. So I'm gonna go like this. So when I come up, I'm hugging her hips and I gotta come out from between her legs with that one I put in between to get the, the technique. And I'm here, okay? Miss Core is already in a really good spot with frames. She may be thinking about recovering guard right now. And that's one of our themes that we're building on with, with all of our students for this swap, okay? So, advanced students, you've got three really good sweeps. One of them's a back take. You've got three really good passes. Using your pry bar and learning how to overcome barriers and obstacles when you're passing. And we've got our, our takedown, we've got a submission, a lot of really cool stuff to work on and get better at this block, okay? And um, you'll keep training, keep working on your techniques. We're excited to see you show them at the next testing.